Hello and welcome back to Official Virtuale. Let's continue our beginner series. As always, let's click on Mechanical Design and Part Design, Part 1. Let's click on OK. And today we're going to talk about materials. We've got different options. We need something. Uh, so let's sketch something on our YX plane. For example, we can sketch an hexagon. And uh, we can fix this distance. Let's say 100. Exit workbench, and we can, with our pad command, extrude this, let's say 100, with mirror extended. Let's click on OK. We can sketch something on this surface here. Uh, for example, we can sketch a circle and we can fix this diameter, let's say 50, and let's click on OK. Now exit workbench and we can use our pocket command and we can realize this pocket with 100 millimeters depth and let's click on OK. As you can see here now we've got these options, uh, shading with material enabled. We've got different options, for example, with, uh, we've got these simple shading options. We've got these options, and this is the options with uh, edges. As you can see here, we've got these edges here. Even if this is a smooth uh, pocket, we've got these edges. And this is the options the shading with edges and this is the options shading with edges without smooth edges. I can hide the smooth edge here as you can see. Then we've got the options uh, with edges and edit edges. So we, we can see what happens uh, to our body and we've got even the options wireframe. Okay, but the most interesting option is the options shading with material. So let's click on this and now we can add material. As you can see here, we've got this option, supply material. Let's click on that and we've got different options. We've got construction for brick metal and so on. For example, let's select uh, uh, metal and uh, a rooted metal, for example. As you can see here, we need to select our body, so let's click on our body, apply material, and let's click on OK. So we can see the material only when we've got these options enabled, OK? If I click on this, as you can see here, we can see the material. So we need this to see the material, OK? And uh, then we've got these other options here. With our Photo Studio Easy Tools, clicking on this, uh, we've got different uh, landscape as a reference. For example, clicking on this, I can change this landscape and let's click on OK. We can change uh, the rendering options, as you can see here. So, for example, let's select 100 and uh, let's select uh, pixel and inches and let's click on OK. Uh, we can select an area. For example, we can select this area. We want to render this area here, okay? And then we can click on this rendering option. So let's click on rendering. And now we can render our image. And we can save this image. As you can see here, this is not very interesting and realistic render. And uh, we will do that uh, with different program. For example, we, can, we will use uh, blender okay so as always if you like this content please consider to subscribe share and so on see you soon